This is Hall County Sports, brought to you by Green Ford on Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check out the latest deals. Remember, when you go green, go Green Ford. By Mountain View Auto Repair, a full-service shop for all of your automotive needs. Call Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair, 770-535-7278. And by McKeever Road United Methodist Church. Visit us on McKeever Road in Oakwood. With three worship services, Kids Town and Adult Small Groups, McKeever Road United Methodist Church, dedicated to transforming the world through the good news of Jesus Christ. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Hall County Sports Television. I'm your host, Gary Glenn. Well, we're heavy into the playoffs in basketball, but a championship has already come to Gainesville and Hall County. North Georgia Christian claimed the boys' title in the Independent Christian Schools of Georgia and Alabama League. The Chargers beat Horizon 63-62 in overtime to win it all. Zach Penley earned tournament MVP honors with 27 points as the Chargers claimed their first boys' title ever since the school had opened back in 1985. Tyler Harney had 11 in the championship game. In the semifinals, North Georgia Christian had beaten Grace Christian 64-52 behind 27 from Penley to earn that final shot. Congratulations to the Chargers. In GHSA boys play, East Hall advanced in the AA state playoffs over to Cater after claiming the region crown with a 61-54 win over Rabin County in the region title tilt. Now against Decatur, it took a J.C. Hampton banked-in three-pointer in the final minute of regulation to send the game into the OT, tied 56-all where the Vikings prevailed 68 68- to 59. Hampton finished with 13 points. Kimon Woods at 15 for the Vikings. Dre Perry led East Hall with 18, most of his points coming down the stretch. We welcome to the show now Coach Joe Dix, head coach of the East Hall boys. And I'll tell you, you had a pretty tough game with Decatur. Took that uh, that banked in three point shot, and I understand JC said he, he called bank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. To, to send it to the overtime. But once you got in the overtime, you sort of clamped down on them. Uh, we did. Um, just one of those things. Uh, you know, you know, you see teams on film and maybe see them in person, but you don't know until you get out there on the floor with them. And uh, that's the best four seed we've ever played since we've gone to this format. And uh, they were much better uh, than even we thought, uh, or our, you know, or as advertised rather. And um, kids did a good job. Uh, we got up to a slow start, made it tough, and then we were able to overcome it at the end. Is that a good first round game for you then, Joe? I mean, obviously it's good that you won, but I mean the right. type of game that you had to play, was that good for you? Yeah. Um, you know, the thing that I told the guys, you know, every year in the state tournament, you know, even when we won the state title, we've had one or maybe two games just like that where we've just struggled and uh, had to kind of uh, just find a way to win the ball game at the end. And, um, you know, sometimes that can be the thing that puts you over the top and kind of gets you going. Well, it got your attention, in other words. It did. It did. I think the kids, I think they were a little nervous. You know, probably five or six of those guys, this was their first real legitimate minutes in the state tournament game. Uh, Sterling Bailey hadn't played in the state tournament oh, yeah. in two years. Uh, Kimon Woods missed all of last year. So a little of, of it was nerves, but um, we were able to recover, and I think we'll, I, I think we'll be better Wednesday. Survive in advance. That's that's the name of the game this year. I, t- I told him the only thing that matters is you have more points than the other team at the end of the game. So, mm, well, then you're back in the round of 16. That's a good feeling too. It is. It is. We've uh, we you know we were there last year and had a tough one on the road at Columbia. So uh, it's good to be at home this year. Outside shots seem to fall for you. They did. The uh, our three guards, uh, J. C. Hampton and Dre Perry and Kemon Woods, all had great games as well as Brian Edwards off the bench. So our guard play was solid, but our post play it's gotta pick up if we're gonna we're gonna be able to advance. If you had to put your finger on one thing that has pleased you the most about this team this year, Joe, what would it be? Ah, uh, their togetherness. Um even the other night, you know, even when we were down, we we're down five with a minute and forty left and they were still right there together. Like, it's not over, we're okay. Let's just keep chipping away. And I'm really amazed at how they're able to communicate with each other in that in, in those terms and um good group from that standpoint. Of course, if you're gonna advance, that's gotta be key down the stretch too. Uh, it, the togetherness. Most definitely. And I, I this is group this group's got great chemistry. I've said that. Probably some of the best chemistry I've had since I've been coaching and um you know, I hopefully hopefully we got some of the jitters out and we'll play a little bit better now. All right. We come back next week, let us know how you do. We'll work on it. All right, All right. thank you, Joe Dix right, of East Talk. Garrett. Now, in the AAA playoffs, West Hall rebounded with a 69-64 win over Shaw in the first round of state. 
Now, some of you may remember they lost to Franklin County in the region championship game in our game of the week. Some of you saw it right here. That was thanks to a long three in the waning seconds of the region championship. But the Spartans eased their pain a bit with a win last Saturday night in the first round of state. In that five-point win over Shaw, West Hall used its size inside as the Spartan six-foot-seven senior center William Stroop scored 14 points, grabbed three rebounds, and blocked six shots. And 6'5", senior Shunquest Stevens scored 15 points, grabbed 13 rebounds. Jacquees Young added 14 points, including a big steal and drive to the basket in the third period. He added three more steals and three assists. Dre Pugh helped cement the win as he hit one of two free throws, making it a two-possession game with only 15 seconds remaining. He also led the team with 16 points. Sean Quez added another point for the final margin. And Jamad Stevens, Sean Quez's brother, finished with 10 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists for the Spartans. And that win put West Hall into the next round with defending AAA champion Columbia. Going to have to tell you about that one next week. Gainesville had claimed the third seed out of the region with a 54-61 win over Monroe area, but committed 21 turnovers and lost to Troop County 86-57 in the first round of state. Senior A.J. Johnson paced Gainesville with 14 points and 8 rebounds, and Shaquan Cantrell added 13 points for the Elephants. In other notes, Lakeview missed the state playoffs for the first time in seven seasons. Athens Academy had sent the Lions back to their den for the season with a 50-43 win. We take you back to the mat for a recap of the traditional state when we return. In the red corner, the little guy holding prices down for all of Hall County, Dave's Goody Barn. And in the blue corner, the heavyweight full price leader eating your lunch daily, the big box store. Well, Mike, what do we know about the contender? Dan, if you're tired of paying high prices, go on down and visit the good folks at Dave's Goody Barn. The buyers for the store travel the globe searching for the greatest deals so the savings can be passed along to you. They purchase from insurance companies due to fires, floods, and other natural disasters. Most of this merchandise is in near perfect condition. Now, back to the fight. Let's get ready to rumble! Holy cow, Mike. Dave just KO'd the big box store in the first round. Well, like I said, Dan, if you're tired of paying high prices, hurry on down to Dave's Goody Barn or visit their website at davesgoodybarn.com because what's there today may be gone tomorrow. Hey, I'm Larry G. If you're looking for high quality furniture, come see us at G's Home Furnishings and Appliances. We have the highest quality furniture on the market because we buy directly from the factory and we cut that middleman out. And that means that I can save you a ton of money but still give you the highest quality furniture on the market. So come see us. Just remember, if you buy it anywhere else, we both lose money. My name is Lloyd Smith. I'm Renee Barnett. And my name's Alan Cudd. My name's Don Cooper. My name is Mike Stewart, and I attend McKeever Road United Methodist Church, the church on the hill here in Oakwood, Georgia. We'd love for you to come join us. This message has been brought to you by the people of the McKeever Road United Methodist Church. Gary Cole, pastor. Welcome back to Hall County Sports Television, everybody. I'm your host, Gary Glenn. Well, in wrestling, no state champs for the Hall County folks this year. The highest finish for the local boys was from junior Logan Herford out of West Hall, who wrestled his way back to finish third at 145 in Class AAA. Teammate Tanner Yates wound up six at 140 pounds. Noel Hall put two into the top six. Senior Shane Doster, who had come into the meet undefeated, wound up wrestling his way to fourth at 171 pounds. And after getting off the victory stand, he had a chance to chat with HCS TV's William Howland. All right, we're here with Shane Doster. Shane uh, finished fourth in the state at 171 pounds from North Hall. How do you feel like the tournament went? Um, it started out great and went a little downhill, but you know it is what it is. Can't change anything. But overall, fourth in the state is nothing to complain about. So, no, fourth in the state is pretty good. Uh, one of the top finishes there for Hall County. And what do you plan to do yourself next year? Um, it's all up in the air right now. I mean, I don't have a clue with football, athletics, or uh, just school. We'll see. All right, Shane Doster, North Hall High School, fourth in the state, 171 pounds at the state beat. Now, Shane Doster's Trojan teammate, Lee Sisson, wound up sixth in AAA at the 189-pound class. Chester T. had a couple of fifths, Jose Reyes at 103, and Daniel Moreno at 171. Johnson's Daniel Martinez wound up six in the 285-pound class. 
In Quad A, Nick Langford, who won the state championship in Triple A at 103 pounds last year, wrestled up in both weight and class. He wound up finishing fourth at 119 pounds. Former Johnson coach, now Jefferson wrestling coach, Doug Thurman, led the Dragons to their unprecedented 11th straight traditional title. This one coming in double A. William also had a chance to talk with Doug about their 19 and a half point win over Sonoraville. We're here with Doug Thurman of the Jefferson Dragons. Coach, you just won your 11th championship in a row. How's it feel? <laughs> Feels awesome. Not going to Disney World, are you? No, I feel like I'm going to Disney World. As close as this one was, uh, the uh, Sonoraville Firebirds were real close on us this year. They had uh, they had 10 seniors out of 14 starters, and we knew it was going to be tough, but uh, but our guys did a great job. Uh, the whole team, uh, everybody added in, everybody that we brought, all 13 of them, uh, gave points for us to win so it was it was great it was a good team effort well congratulations of course doug used to be the coach over at johnson high school here in all county and uh like we said 11 in a row for him uh, you got 12 in mind you think oh yeah back to the back to the drawing board uh, we can't stop now we don't want to break the chain so we're uh we're going to go for it anyway so yeah we're, we're, we're going to give it a shot well, congratulations again. An amazing 11 state championships in a row now for the Jefferson Dragons. Coach Doug Thurman. Thank you, William. Now, that traditional state meet was a couple of weekends ago, but just this past weekend, the Jefferson Dragons claimed another dual meet title. That was their 10th straight in that event. That meet had been postponed by the snow. This one was rescheduled at Toombs County High School, and Jefferson won it 37-18 over Sonoraville in the championship round, the team that finished second behind the Dragons in the traditional state championships. Jefferson had swept to the championship match with easy wins over Greater Atlanta Christian, 57-9, Cook, 56-24, and Spencer, 66 -9. To three. We'll take you back to round ball when we come back. Mountain View Auto Repair is your local full service auto repair shop. Trusted with your vehicles for over 20 years, our experience will ensure that your vehicle will stay well maintained year round. Mountain View Auto Repair is the place to bring your vehicle. They'll always treat you right. The service is good and the prices are very reasonable. You can trust our experts in everything from transmissions to brakes to engine repairs and oil changes. My wife and I bring our cars to Mountain View Auto Repair because they're honest, they do good work, and their prices are reasonable. So visit owner Danny Hammock and his staff of professionals at 3365 Mountain View Road in Gainesville. Or give them a call at 770-535-7278. That's Mountain View Auto Repair for your complete auto service. Imagine three football fields of the most unbelievable pre-loved office furniture. That's what just arrived at School Tools and Office Pros. Team Office Pros is doing the touchdown dance while saving you money on chairs for executives, managers, students, and teachers starting in 1999. Bookcases for lawyers, accountants, classrooms, and libraries starting at $24.99. File cabinets for medical, legal, professional, and personal starting at $49.99. Desks for college students, businesses, and home office starting at $99.99. Unbelievable! If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McKeever Road between Gainesville and Buford. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it. Now, some of the biggest news that came out of basketball in recent days, besides the playoffs, was the news that veteran Gainesville girls coach Manson Hill is retiring. His overall record is near peerless. Now, they did go 14-12 and 12 this season and missed the state playoffs, but under Hill, the Lady Elephants went past the first round eight times, winning state titles in 1994, 2001, 2003, and 2004, and recently I had a chance to talk with Manson Hill. On the campus of Gainesville High School now with Coach Manson Hill. And Manson, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the decision. Why now? Um, I just feel like it's a uh, it's never a really great time, but I, I feel like it's time to um, take a year away, away from doing things and get my health in real good shape. And, um, and then there's a couple of things that my wife's always wanted to do that we never could do during basketball. And um, the group that's coming back is going to be has a chance to may win a region championship or do really great things and uh, I, I think the program's in real good shape and uh, but mostly it's about um, 
putting myself in a situation where my health is going to be great. Well, what's the matter? Anything major? Nothing, anything? nothing big. Nothing big. It's just, um, you know, I just feel like uh, the stress and stuff is, I just need to to take care of some things. All right. Well, uh, everybody understands that, of course. Uh, other than the state championships and the region titles, what are you going to take away from your career with Gainesville coaching basketball? Obviously, those are high points, but I, I'm sure the relationships and, and things yeah. mean a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the the championships are, they're nice. I mean, I, but I don't wear my rings. I mean, I, I carry pictures of the kids, um, you know, or, or I carry their texts texts and stuff like that or their phone numbers on, on me and that stuff like that. I mean, it, it, I'm really going to miss the day-to-day -day, um, spending time with kids. Um, I, I may teach some tennis lessons this summer. You know, I used to do that. Yeah, I mean, I mean right. do something where I, I'm still working with oh, with kids. I may, my, I'm going to work with some of our basketball players until we get a new coach and on online. And uh, uh, other than that, um, but you know the experiences you know the memories that you have just you know they'll be with you forever so what's ahead for you now you said you're going to take some time off so obviously you're not ruling out or returning to coaching at some time in the future you know I'm not ruling out anything um, I just made a decision that um, I'm going to um, do some things with my wife that, I, that I've never had time to do because of the coaching um, she's always wanted to see the big waves over in Hawaii we're, so next oh, winter we're going to go to the big waves in Hawaii um, something that we couldn't do when I was coaching basketball um, and then I'm going to try to get in real real good shape and and you'll see if this works because hopefully I, I will be in um, the kind of shape you're in <laughs> I I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know and, uh, and, and if I do that then my numbers you know we'll we'll do good and and uh and and then if i feel refreshed which i think i will you know i might get back in sometime sometime someplace all right Manson, whatever you decide to do you've always been a great guy to us and, and good thank luck you, to you thank you gary for helping all those years now it was the first time in 14 years the gainesville girls had set home for the state playoffs eventual region champ franklin county beat them in the early rounds in triple overtime 51 43. Now, after region tournament losses to Franklin County and North Hall, Chesterty entered the state playoffs as a four seed, but promptly got back on track by knocking off a number one seed, LaGrange, 36-29. Peyton Robertson scored 20 with four rebounds, and Rachel Kelly added 10 points and snagged six boards. Carrollton eliminated North Hall's girls, who were back in the state playoffs for the first time since the 08 season, but it took overtime to do it. Kenna Rushton with another great game, 27 points and 12 rebounds in the loss. East Hall's girls fell to Buford in AA, 55-41 after coming in as a four seed. Jasmine Jenkins had 30 of East Hall's 41 points. Now, we're going to back up a bit to the stunner in 8-4A in the region tournament as despite a losing record, Flowery Branch's girls upset number two, Madison County, 51-41. J.C. Ramey had 15 points and nine rebounds. The Lady Falcons' remarkable run continued. Tavia Sykes scored 24 as they knocked off number one seeded Loganville, 44-41. Magic Dust ran out, though, as Clark Central beat them 73-37 in the title game. And then the number two seeded Lady Falcons, despite a game effort in the first round of the state playoffs in Quad A, fell in overtime to Mays, 48-43. Sykes had 13 points and six rebounds, while Ramey pulled down nine rebounds to go with her eight points. And Bernal basketball coach Gary Bays has resigned to pursue other opportunities. Bays started up the Tigers Hoops program and was 73 and 79 overall in his five years. In addition to coaching basketball for Bernal, Bays also served as the Department Sports Information Director and Champions of Character Liaison with the NAIA. This year, the team finished 13 and 16 after a close loss to Southern Wesleyan, 78-74 in their last game. Four Bernal players scored in double figures in that one. Brittany Wiley and Taylor Black with 15 points apiece. Sarah Ward with 13 and sophomore captain Gabby Harvey with 13 points. Harvey also pulled down an amazing 18 rebounds. Golden Tigers did place two of its players on the SSAC All-Academic Team for 2011. Sophomore Sarah Ward out of Elberton and sophomore Jasmine Farmer out of Lilburn. We take you to the break with some updates from the playoffs from the Tuesday games. There are hundreds of options when choosing apparel or promotional items at Jake Iyer Advertising and the Trophy Case. We're all about quality and competitive pricing. Sports items are in stock. Look for special pricing on letterman jackets, corporate apparel, corporate gifts, and custom embroidery. All local high schools should check out the line of spirit wear and trophies. We're also offering custom screen printing available for any team sport. Be on the winning side when you choose Jake Iyer Advertising and the Trophy Case. Locally owned and operated at 250 Dawsonville Highway, Gainesville. 
call 770-718-0062 or on the web at jgeyer.com and trophycaseltd.com. There are moments in life that you wish would last forever. Dreams that really do come true. Treasures worth protecting and a future to prepare for. Turner Wooden Smith is with you every step of the way. Established in the Gainesville area in 1905. Turner Wooden Smith has become Northeast Georgia's largest independent insurance agency by offering professional service at competitive prices. Turner Wooden Smith, ensuring your future since 1905. This program is also brought to you by Long Street Cafe, now with two locations in Gainesville, 1043 Riverside Terrace and 405 Pearl Nicks Parkway. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday. Long Street's got the reputation for Gainesville's fastest drive through and the best fried chicken you'll ever sink your teeth into, plus veggies, a full salad bar, and great desserts. Check today's menu at www.longstreetcafe.com. Call a friend and meet them for a hearty meal at Long Street Cafe, where they put the home in the cooking. We're back. I'm Gary Glenn. Hall County Sports is the show. we got some unfinished business to take care of in this segment. You know, that snow and all, it messed everything up and put us way behind. So let's hand out some of our awards for this past fall season for teams, athletes, and coaches of the season. First up, some honorable mentions. From Flowery Branch in football, Will Mundy, the punter kicker, all-state selection in the AJC and the AP and the GACA. Played in the North-South All-Star Game and the USA versus the World All-Star Game. Also, First Team All-Region Special Teams Player of the Year and the Times First Team Honors going to Duke on scholarship. From Norrell Hall, Mac Van Gorder in football, the team's leading rusher and leading tackler and team MVP, also All-Area. From the volleyball team from North Hall, Lauren Gregory, the top 25 for AAA in kills with 158, 36 aces. 12 blocks, 191 digs. Lauren led the team in kills and was second in digs. And their volleyball coach, Emmy Hughes. Emmy Lee Hughes coaching the Lady Trojans to the AAA quarterfinals. North Hall Cross Country's Ansley Lawson gets an honorable mention. She was the War Eagle champion, third at region, 10th at state. And then Daniel Newburn from North Hall and softball, honorable mention, all area. Lakeview football's Nick Drury gets an honorable mention, 960 yards rushing and 14 touchdowns in only eight games, had over 40 tackles on defense and was second in the class at Lakeview. West Hall honorable mention goes to volleyball coach Joe Nelson, had the Lady Spartans in the second round of the state tournament. And Johnson competition cheerleading coach Allison Shambliss in her first season as coach, they made it to state, placed 16th at the co-ed tournament. The Chesterton High School cheerleaders finished third in the co-ed state competitive cheerleading championships in Columbus. War Eagles competing against 15 other teams. Chesterton's seventh consecutive year advancing to the state finals and seventh straight year finishing inside of the top 10. Honorable mention to them and to their head coach, Lynn Clemens. Jubilee Christian Volleyball's outside hitter, Olivia Saskowski, she gets an honorable mention. Team leader in kills with 267 and aces with 99 for the National Association of Christian Athletes Division IV National Champs. All right, now let's turn to the winners. Our male athlete of the fall 2010, North Hall cross country runner Cody Barger, top male cross country runner of the state this year, regardless of classification. He won the state meet in the best time in the state, regardless of class, of 1535-91. Had the highest placing of any Georgia run at the Foot Locker South Regional. He placed seventh at the Nationals of the US ATF Junior Olympics in Birmingham, Alabama. He was second in that Association's Georgia Championships. He ran a 15-17. He was first in the region 1750, even after making a wrong turn on a long course. As I said, seventh at the Nationals. That time was 1614. He was the Times 2010 Cross Country Runner of the Year. Was named the 2010-2011 Gatorade Boys Cross Country Runner of the Year in Georgia after his outstanding fall season. He led the Trojans to that second place finish in the Class AAA meet back in November. Now a finalist for the National Gatorade Award. The female athlete of the fall, also from North Hall Cross Country, the top girls cross country runner in Hall County, Victoria Rogers. Seven top five finishes, including a couple of titles. She won the Hall County Championship, won the Mountaineer Invitational, placed second at region and placed fifth at state, helped the Lady Trojans to a second place team finish, the Times Cross Country Girls Runner of the Year. The top boys team for this past season, well, you gotta go with the North Hall Cross Country team. They were the region champs and second at state. Our overall coach of the fall is going to be Drew Rogers. Coached both the boys and girls to second in the state. The Times Cross Country Coach of the Year. And he is our overall coach of the year, Drew Rogers, North Hall Cross Country. Special honorable mention to the North Hall girls cross country team, region champs, 
and second at state. Uh, fall's top female team, though, Jubilee Christian Volleyball, finished first in their region, second in the state, and went on to win that national tournament. Special honorable mention to Coach Nicole Scarberry. Other special honorable mentions. On the male side, Gainesville linebacker running back A.J. Johnson, the Georgia Athletic Coaches Association 2010 All-State team. Gainesville's Johnson, who wrapped up his high school gridiron career by signing on to play for Tennessee, named the class AAA North Defensive Player of the Year and first team All-State. Johnson also the class AAA Defensive Player of the Year and the Georgia Sports Writers Association 2010 All-State team. He led the area in tackles with 173, 10 for a loss, and added 429 yards rushing and six touchdowns. On the female side, North Hall Volleyball, Catherine Bell, the number eight ranked setter in all of AAA. She had 457 assists, 94 aces, and 50 kills. Catherine totaled 1,347 assists. 232 aces and 291 kills in her three years as a varsity setter. She was the Times Volleyball Player of the Year. Back to wrap it up when we conclude. Hey, it may be wintertime, but you still need to take care of the home place, and Precision Pressure Wash and Painting Services is just the company to do it. While pressure washing is their specialty, Precision Pressure Washing and Painting Services also offers many other great home improvement services that will benefit you. They live up to their name and complete each of these tasks with precision the first time around. These services include deck repairs, deck staining, water sealing, floor coatings with concrete staining and epoxy applications, gutter cleaning, window washing, siding repair, window replacement and removal, door repair, sheetrock installation and repair. In fact, no job is too small for them to handle. They've served the residents of Hall County and surrounding areas since 1992. That's Precision Pressure Washing and Painting Services. For questions, a free estimate, or to request a service, please phone 770-536-3824 or 678-316-4554. Time now to name our Athletes of the Week, male and female. Last week, we had to repeat a show, as you may be aware, but for that week, our male is going to be Zach Penley, North Georgia Christian Basketball, tournament MVP for the champion Chargers. But honorable mention to West Hall basketball, Shunquez Stevens for his performance in the region tournament and being selected the eight AAA player of the year. Also honorable mention to West Hall wrestler, Logan Herford, third at state. Our girls athlete of the week for that week was McKenna Rushton for her region tournament. Now this week, Shunquez is gonna get the male nod and Peyton Robertson of Chesty basketball is gonna be named our girls player of the week. But honorable mention to Jasmine Jenkins for her 30 points in that East Hall loss. All right, let's turn to baseball now. Spring sports. North Hall won its season opener 5-3 over Hab Central. Jesse Strickland 3-4 for four with a double. Preston Graham got the save and hit a two-run triple. Flower Branch beat Riverside Military 13-3 in six innings. Chase Holsey, three hits. Taylor Jones had added a triple to go with two RBI. East Hall and West Hall hooked up in a game which featured totals of 27 runs, 22 hits, with seven errors sprinkled in. West Hall kept rallying and finally won it 15-12 in the season opener. The game-winning sack fly was by Jake Shirley, who finished 3-for-5 with a triple, two RBI, and three runs scored. Chandler Newton had a key hit, a two-out single in the bottom of the sixth to give West Hall that final 15-12 lead. Freshman Zach English was also big for the Spartans, going 2-for-3 with two doubles, three RBI, and four runs scored. Then West Hall beat the Vikings twice last week, in fact, 22-15, the second game, and another wild one. College softball, Bernal went undefeated at the Shorter Invitational. Golden Tigers entered the week at 9-0, thanks to a couple of victories from pitcher Anna Manis at that tournament. Catcher Morgan Smith was a triple away for hitting for the cycle in one game, also homered in another. Christina Reynolds also went deep for the Tigers, and Tiffany Shandera had a 4-4 four for four with four RBI game. In golf, we've got a couple of recent new members to the hole-in-one club. Steve Knowles with an ace at number one on the village course at Chicopee with a six iron. Tommy Lowry was a part of the Lunas group, and he did the deed at number three at Chester Tee. In their first ever high school golf match, Gainesville's Meg Callahan was low medalist with a 42, led her team to a win over North Hall. The Southern States Athletic Conference Showcase recently did a feature story on the Brown University volleyball team and their involvement in the Habitat for Humanity build in Gainesville last fall. That story appeared on Fox Sports South. The FCA home team banquet was a tremendous success. Almost $60,000 was raised and pledged, and they say that will allow them to expand and grow their ministries. Congratulations to the FCA. And my thanks to guest videographer Bill Lofton for his assistance for part of this show. That's our show for this week. I'm Gary Glenn. Join us next week right here for more Hall County Sports. Hall County Sports is brought to you in part by Green Ford on Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check out the latest deals. And remember, when you go green, go Green Ford. By Mountain View Auto Repair. 
a full service shop for all of your automotive needs, call Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair at 770-535-7278. And by McKeever Road United Methodist Church. Visit us on McKeever Road in Oakwood with three worship services every Sunday morning, Kids Town and adult small groups. McKeever Road United Methodist Church is dedicated to transforming the world through the good news of Jesus Christ.